Frogmore House, which hosted 200 guests celebrating the union of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on the evening of May 19, 2018, will be open to the public next year. The Royal Collection Trust RTC, announced the house and its surrounding gardens will be open to visitors on selected days between the spring and August 2022. It became a royal residence in 1792, when it was bought by George III's wife, Queen Charlotte. It is used by members of the royal family for receptions and key events. In August 2020, the Queen and Princess Anne were said to have had lunch at Frogmore House ahead of the Princess Royal's 70th birthday. The Queen is known to love the gardens at Frogmore House and often walks her dogs there. Moreover, in March, the monarch was photographed there with Prince Charles. It was later revealed the Queen and her heir had planted a small oak in the gardens to kick off a campaign aiming to get millions of trees planted across the UK by next year's Platinum Jubilee. Meghan and Prince Harry tied the knot on May 19, 2018, at St George Chapel in front of 600 guests and a worldwide audience glued to the TV screens. After a carriage procession across Windsor, they celebrated their union with family and friends during a reception hosted by the Queen at Windsor Castle. After Meghan changed into an open back dress by Stella McCartney and Harry into a tuxedo, the pair jetted off to Frogmore House in Charles Icy Blue Vintage Jaguar. The evening reception was attended only by 200 guests handpicked by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Among the attendees were Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice as well as George and Amal Clooney. As reported by biographers Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand in their book Finding Freedom, Prince Harry's friend Tom Skippy Inskip and his wife Laura were notably absent at the reception. The biography claimed, they were invited to the wedding ceremony and lunchtime reception but didn't make the cut for the evening bash. At a brunch the day after the wedding, Skippy told friends, Meghan had changed Harry too much. His Eton pal said the prince was awed by the likes of the Cloonies and Oprah. We've lost him, Skippy concluded. The event, hosted by Charles, was thought to be a much less formal affair than the afternoon reception. According to Finding Freedom, James Corden offered comic relief after heartfelt remarks made by friends of the bride and groom in their speeches. The host of The Late Late Show reportedly strode to the center of the tent dressed as Harry ate and joked he was unsure about the dressing code. Earlier this year, Mr. Corden interviewed Prince Harry during a special episode of his CBS show, 